Hello and welcome. In this video, I'll be showing us how to create a data entry form using Microsoft Excel. Now, as an Excel user or a data analyst, there might be need for you to enter data on Excel manually. And one thing about being productive in your place of work is your ability to get things done at a very, you know, at a very fast rate. So let us say you are given a data entry to enter on Excel, such as they give you the name, name, the department, the status, and the salary. Now, you can easily just enter the data here on Excel, say John, John David, enter the, the data like this, John David, department, probably accounting, accounting department, status, maybe full time, salary maybe 50,000 okay enter the salary as 50,000 50,000 now but the truth of the matter is that if you want to enter this let's say you want to enter for 100 names you know this will be time consuming so to create a data entry form this is what you will do okay you click on this icon here then you select then you select then you select more command when you select more command you click inside this dialog box here that says popular command and you click on all command in this all command you search for form f a b c d e i'm scrolling down e f this is f now right so go up a bit and this is form you click on it this is form when you click on form then you click when you click on form, then you click on hard. The form will be added here. Then you click OK. Now let's see. This is the form. You can see the form right here. So the form is already here. But before you can use the form, you need to highlight your data set first and press Ctrl T. T for table. Make sure this my table set is checked. Then click on OK. You can see now the data is in is in the table. Now to use the form, this is what you will do. To use the form this is what you will do click anywhere inside the table then check the form now you see this is the form right here you can see the form now john david accounting full time fifty thousand. now if you want to enter for another person you just press enter you see another name will come out let's say the name of the next person is honor vincent honor vincent his department is IT that is the IT unit. The status is part time. Status is part time. You press your tab key to go to the next or your arrow key. So when you type on having sent finish, you don't press enter. Once you press enter and you have not filled in for department status and salary, it will show blank. Okay. So when you want to go down, you press tab. When you want to go down, you press tab. When you want to go to the next one, you press tab. So let's say on a visit salary is maybe 25,000. It is when you are done that you will press enter. It will, can you see that on a Vincent details has been registered? You can see it right now. So if I want to enter for the next person, you see that using data entry form makes your work to be more faster. So it makes you to be productive. The next person you can enter is let's say, um, let's see, Omonigi. Omonigi. Comfort. Okay. So. And um, you press your tab, your tab on your keyboard, T A B tab on your keyboard, or you use your arrow key to come down. Press your tab on your keyboard. Okay, press your tab on your keyboard. Let me go back, find previous. Press your tab on your keyboard. Don't press your arrow key, press your tab. Okay, so now in the department, let's say the department is accounting. Okay, press your tab. The status is, let's say, full time. Let's say the, the status is, let's say, full time. Full time. You press your tab on your keyboard to come down. The salary is, let's say, 45,000. When you are done, press enter. It will bring for another person for you. If you want to, it will bring for another person for you. Let's say the, the, the next person, let's say you want to go back. Because you see that in money you come for, we make mistake with the account. You go to find previous. It's to go back. 
so we change here and we are just here to g accounting okay then you say find next there's no next i mean there's next one now so you can say find previous to go back you can say i'm going back on our visit if i say find previous john david if i want to go forward i click on find next find next you can see it right now so now that i see find this i'll just press enter to you press enter to create a new record for you or you click on this new okay so let's see the next person the last person i want to enter is a uh, let's see a denny blessing denny blessing okay press your tab your tab key or your keyboard a department is let's see it okay Press your tab on your keyboard. A status is, let's say, part-time. Press your tab on your keyboard to go to salary. A salary is, let's say, 70,000. Salary is 70,000. When you are done, press enter. Okay? Now, I've taught you, find previous is to go back. Find previous is to go back. You are going backward. Find next to go forward. It's to go forward. Okay? Now, I've taught you find previous and find next. And I can also delete. Let us say I want to delete at any blessing record. I can click on this delete. You see, I've deleted at any blessing. You see that any blessing is not there again. So you can see that any blessing is not there again. So you can delete it. This new you can. Let's say you don't want to press enter. You can click on this new to create a new one. And then this criteria is what I want to explain. Okay. Suppose I want to look for um, people in the accounting department. So I'll click on criteria. I can use any of these as the criteria but in this case let's say i want to use the department i want to know i want to you know maybe make changes to those in the accounting department so i'll, I'll press my tab to come to this department and i'll type let's say accounting or let's say i'll type accounting acc i can just type acc and i'll say find next i can just say find um let's say i want to i want to look for those that are full-time or part-time i can just say full time and i'll say find next find previous you see full time find previous full time you can see those details that are here they are what they are full time so you discover that honor vincent will never show because honor vincent is not a full time okay so so um let me see let me close this form <laughs> let's see i add another details here i said any any blessing okay let me expand this let me change it to g okay and um, let me let me expand the name okay i'm trying to show something let me expand the name and let me say i put it yeah yeah and um, i put part-time part-time and i put let's say thirty thousand okay now click, click anywhere inside your data set click on your form okay i've explained the new the deletes you can delete find previous you can go backward find next you can go forward criteria now i'm still explaining criteria suppose i want to know those in the accounting department so i'll just type a c c o u n t i n g a c c o u n t i n g I want to adjust only i want to maybe i want to make correction on only those in the accounting department well, i just want to see them then i'll click on find next you see find next i think that's the only one go back john david now you see there's no one again you can never see it here okay because that is what we call criteria it's like used to filter your data okay so let me click on criteria again but this time around this side of accounting let me type it watch what will happen it let me click on find next you see on a Vincent find next I didn't need a blessing find next that's the reason why it's not going again is because these are the only two people in IT if I go click, click on find previous click on find previous you see that it is only on a visit and I blessing that are in IT that will be displayed so that is how to use the find criteria when I'm done I just click on close so that is how to use a data entry form in order to make your in order to make entry of data easy for you so guys that is all on this video if you found this video useful i want you to you know go below this video and smash the like button and you can also subscribe to my youtube channel so that you can get notified about more videos so that you can get notified when i release new videos
videos. Thank you. God bless you. See you in my next